Okay. So now considering it, you discover that um, it is something that will now help you so that you'll be able to easily connect up and share your experiences, your advice, everything the way you want to share them. So now by the time we look at it, the kind, the caliber of people that we have, uh, I was talking about what uh, Prof has done. When I read about Prof's work, in terms of presence, so Prof has presence, but now a lot of things that Prof has are just uh, academic um, qualifications and publications. But what Prof will tell me as a son, uh, a, as a son, in terms of as academic son, you are, she has academic children, she has the physical children. So I qualify into the two categories. As an academic son and as a physical son, what Prof want to tell me is what we are now talking about. Instead of Prof telling me that alone, how do you rise as a person? A prof has schooled, she schooled uh, uh, at uh, Harvard University, and she's a lecturer in OAU. But by the time, it's not everybody that will retire at 70. Do you understand? It's not everybody. And if Prof has got into that stage, what testimony does she have to share? That is where blogging is very, very important for her. Are you getting it? Uh, so as, as blogging is important, that means that she must, as a matter of, uh, she must be, she must be able to now write. So all those things she's writing, she now needs to put them on a blog. And that is the reason why we are here. We now want to learn about this blogging. We now want to understand what was this blogging all about? What exactly do they use it for? What exactly do we, uh, when we say blogging, blogging, blogging here and there, what exactly does it mean? Now let me tell you this from the last class. It's because earlier on, I was telling uh, my very good uh, auntie, uh, Pastor Mrs. Fanu, that one of our sons is in the other class. Now, in the senior class uh, of the blogging class, you, I will show you something now, which I, sh uh, I shared with them. Look at this. This is one of them. This is the blog of one of them in that class. I believe you all can see it. Now, if you go to, if you pick your phone, I told you that you should have your laptop or phone ready. This is another woman. She's about, she's in her 60s as well, maybe 62 or 63. She's, she's been a lecturer. Now, look at this. I am Alira Babalola, a trained and passionate teacher, educationist and counselor with about four decades experience in the polytechnic sector. You understand? Now, this is, if you, everybody now, pick your phone, type www.alirababalola.com. If you can type it on your phone or your laptop, type it there, www.alirababalola.com. Now, when you type it there, you, this is what you are going to see. This person is one of the, uh, she's one of the first set of blogging. Your class is the second set that we are starting now. Now, this is our blog. Our blog is after her name, Adria Babala. She has been in the educational sector and uh, I've been in higher education teacher and I've been for th over 30 years and I've administered my, you understand? So, and, and a two time deputy director for the Federal Polytechnic. I'm equally involved in community services, you know, organization and local uh, community. Now, if you look at this, my passion. My, because this is the assignment I'll be giving you today. My core passion is teaching, impacting profitable knowledge in youth and adults alike. Furthermore, I love to explain similarly difficult concepts. You know, this was how she started. After a class on digital footprint, she just said, look, she just sent her money. I designed this uh, uh, for her. You understand? And now she is so much growing in it. Now she has posted something. I will click on blogs now. If, when I click on blogs, Look at what she has posted. She has written on the Nigerian educational system. How did we get here? Now, I wanted to get something. So for you now, Auntie Grace, the Nigerian educational system, you may not say, how did we get here? You have been experienced. You and this person now, you are in the same category. The only thing is that maybe she has been in the tertiary institution. You have been dealing with the younger ones, which forms the foundation of uh, 
this thing. Uh, the same thing now, she has been in the polytechnic all her life. Um, um, mommy, doc, uh, Professor Margaret, you have been in the university. So education, the way she has written it, let me state my background so you will know what, that the experiences I am claiming here are genuine. After more than three decades, uh, you, you understand. So and having gone through the entire university as a pupil in the primary school, straight secondary and third an action of a PhD, I am sure you agree with me that I do have some experience. That is writing the same way uh, my chief, Chief Kanayo Kanayo, we also write about uh, his experience in the uh, uh, film industry. The same way uh, you see everybody will have something to write. You state your background, and that is the beauty of the, that's the beauty of uh, what's it called? That's the beauty of uh, of blogging. You'll be able to say your story the way you want. So you see it now. And now this is a practical example about blogging. She asked her question, she wrote this, and she made a submission. And of course, you can go online, you can make comments. People have started making comments on this. You can also make your own comments. And that is how you begin to grow when you come to blogging and what have you, that's how you begin to grow. And that is how people will now begin to read more and more from you. So apart from what you have done, what you have written, and that is what blogging is about in terms of those who are content carriers. Then for those of us who are not content carriers only, uh, content carriers, but we are younger, you don't really have any content you are carrying. What one thing you can do and one thing you should do is that you will now be the ones to uh, you will now be the ones to start the idea of blogging in times of you start blogging in times of uh, let me help you in times of blogging for people, letting others know the importance. What I'm doing now, you see, every professional, as I say jokingly. All professors must be, uh, must be involved in blogging. All professors, because all PhD holders, all uh, uh, educationists, of course, then all uh, people who are into fashion industry, everybody that has succeeded in one field or the other, we want to hear from you. And you know one thing, because of originality, which I have taught in earlier classes, Google now pays you when your followers get to a particular number. Google will pay you for the followership. So now today, I'll be talking to you about the basics of uh, blogging. Now, if you look at it, let me start by defining it. What is blogging? Once again, I've said it, it's a platform where people can easily share their thoughts, their experience, their feeling, or their opinion. It's a platform for you. It's a basis. You share your thoughts, your experience. Do you understand? It's also a platform where you can make money. Uh, you, where you can become a business person. How? As in what you can do uh, as gainfully employed. I always advise people, if you have a younger one who always disturb you, uncle, give me money today, auntie, give me money tomorrow. Tell, bring that person into blogging class. Once he or she knows how to blog, they will stop disturbing you because it will have something to work on. And that is one of the beauties of blogging. So now when we, when we, when we move on, we are saying now that what's a blog? My personal website or web page, that is personal, is your own. Your website or your web page, which are individual records, is opinions. Do you understand? That's what a blog is. You record your opinion, your, your view, your perspective about that aspect. So that's what I'm saying. That woman that when that we saw her blog now, she said, with this experience of mine, <laughs> that's it, you're an investor. You some of, okay, there's another aspect I've, I've not even mentioned. In the spiritual uh, aspect now, some of us are counselors, maybe like my humble self, I always talk about personal development. Those of you who were able to attend my colloquium yesterday, you know, that what you saw, that aspect of me is the real aspect of me. You understand? What I'm doing now is professional. We teach, we collect money. That one, I don't collect any money, and I'm going to be doing that on a monthly basis. The same way I will not be writing. Imagine now if I write on self-discovery. That's what I'm saying. Now, what I did yesterday, how many people knew? Only those who attended. But whatsoever I write is there for life, even after I must have uh, gone. 
to the great beyond is still there for life. And that is the importance of blogging. You, it's not one off. Even the generation unborn will still come back to learn from what you have written down. And your great grandchildren will be excited that there is something you have put down for the world to learn from. So blogging, it, it takes you away from the physicality to that international level. It breaks the boundary and gives you digital recognition and of course, digital relevance, which will lead to digital profit. So uh, now for blogging, another thing you need in, the, in blogging is you need traffic. I've said that uh, and I would have to emphasize it again and again. You need traffic. Well, in terms of traffic, what do you need to do? In terms of traffic, you like uh, your followers, your people who read your work, they need to keep reading. As they read, Google rates them. You see, the number of followers you have uh, in this area of blogging, those number of readers, number of hits, it shows those who are reading. And that is where Google will place their advert. Do you understand, SAS and mass? Google will now recognize you. That's international recognition. And it's Jamil and very important for us to move forward. So let's look at the definition of blog. A blog is an online journal or informational website that displays information in reverse chronological order. What do we mean by reverse chronological order? I have to show you that very quickly and very practically. I'll be showing you from my blog. Can you quickly go to www.dayoshobawale.com? www.dayashobwale.com. Now, if you get to www.dayashobwale.com, that's my own blog. Um, okay. When you get there, you are going to see. Um, okay, I'm trying to load it for everybody to see. I believe you are all seeing it. Are you seeing dayashobwale.com? Is that what is appearing on your screen? Okay. If uh, please, uh, hey, I've not explained that. In the senior class, they know. You see, in professional class, you have class activities. When I ask any question, you go to the chat and reply. Please, are you seeing it? You just go there and type yes, so that we can be sure we are on the same page. So please, let me have your yes. Let me have your yes if you are seeing that on shobali.com. Yes, I can see that here. Thank you. That is what I expect. Now, there's something I want you to see. If you click on look, if you look at this place, if you click on blog. Now, the Shobali initiative, if you look at this, when we talk about what blog does. Oh, thank you so much, uh, Auntie Grace. Now, when you look at what blog does for you, you look uh, you come here and you say, oh, God bless you, my dear, Clinton. Now, if you, if, if you look at this place, it says here that, look at my, can you see? This is what I am doing. I am, I am someone that delivers seminars, lectures. This is about me. Do you understand? So why I am showing my picture and this seminar pics, yeah, someone like uh, Auntie Grace will be showing a picture and the schools where she has been able to work. Someone like Prof will show a picture and maybe our students, our PhD students, professors that she has trained. I don't have any, uh, all I've been supervising, I'm just at the, I'm just moving to the university, uh, setting from a, from a polytechnic so that I can also have a MSc and PhD that will be anytime after the lockdown. Do you understand? So, you see, you, you, she, she shows that. That's a butter. And it goes on. Uh, then if you move, look at this, I say, invite Dr. Daya Shobawale as a guest speaker. Now, someone like my dear uh, uh, brother, you, you are not to be, you might be invited as a thank you, Prof. Ma. You might be invited as a guest speaker, but you want to learn acting. You want to go into, you want to be mentored. You want to, it will come here. Look at this. Dr. Shobawale is not only a life, I uh, mean, it's not, only a gifted, but also a licensed and passionate speaker. He's an academic by excellence with doctorate degree in computer science. He's a registered engineer and also a lawyer. What a real combination. He's equally an experienced businessman, being the founder and chairman of Davos College of Management and Technology, 
a vocational and academic institution located in Osho State, Nigeria. Dr. Osho Ali, being an educational psychologist, uh, you are therefore assured of a balanced, comprehensive, and holistic approach to any topic given to him. Can you see the way I sold myself here? That's the way you must sell yourself in your own regard. Do you understand? So now, he has been invited to speak and deliver papers at various conferences, seminars, churches, on, ver on various topics, both within and outside the country. Bam! That's it. So now, you want to invite. When you click, you understand? Invite. You, it, you, it will take you to... But this is selling yourself, you understand? And people will make comments. Now, but that is not where... Now, can you see this? 5,740 E. Now, you, you know what this means? These are the number of people that have read my work. They have read my work. That's within uh, five or six weeks. 5,748 have read my work. Google is taking note of everything. Google is taking note. That's how it goes. That's how it goes. And now this is what it's about. But so by the time you look at this, why would I say this place, what you are seeing now, if you, call, if you type it in another two weeks, this is, once you type www.shubali, this is what you will find here. You know why? This is a website. So it will not change. But if you go to blog, if you click on blog, you can see blog here. If you click on blog, as I've done, if you click on blog, it will now take you to my blog. So that blog, so what I have done, and that's what I do for my customers, uh, for my clients, I will always combine website and blog for you. So now, the last thing I wrote on was the new normal two, digital transformation. Oh, no, 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 that was not the last two. Digital transformation. Uh, so that thing I wrote, the last one, that's why it says, I'm trying to explain the chronological order. The last thing I wrote on is what it will bring out. The last thing I wrote on is what it will bring out. So new normal, digital transformation for health, law, and business. Now you see that uh, new normal two in chronological order is different from, uh, from a website. Website is static. Look, look at this one now. I wrote on this. Then I wrote also on the new normal one. Irresistible advent of digitalization. Are you getting it now? You can see that is another write up. After that, I've written on financial increase too, maximizing the role of this role of digitalization. Can you see the way I am eating at digitalization? And that is why, you know what I'm trying to do there? I, I want to say I'm going to a level when they talk of the father of digitalization in Nigeria, it is me. The only way I can be rated as such is this method of writing, blocking. I block it. I block it. How are you getting me? When you block a particular area, you will block that area. When we talk about uh, law, environmental law in Nigeria, Professor uh, Margaret Okorodudu, with utmost respect, grammar, you are supposed to block it and block it because you are a complete authority in that regard. When the type of environmental law, everything should just be pointing to you. If we type your name, your name will bring out what you have done. But what we are saying is when we type a particular area that you call your area, it should bring your name and bring everything about you. Now you see what I'm doing. Now can, can you imagine the next thing I wrote, let me, Okay, let me read uh, from. Okay, when you blog about that, oh, God bless you, my chief, sir. I love that. When you blog a particular area, you block that area. And that is what I wanted to do in the acting industry. You can, there could be actors, there could be actresses, but you are going to block that area and you block it. And the moment you block it, once ever they write fundamentals of acting, it will bring out your name. You understand? Fundamentals of this is to bring out your name. The legal aspect of acting is to bring out your name. No other person can talk about it but you because you have, uh, you have, uh, you have faced, you paid your price. You are an actor, successful one, and you are also a lawyer. You see the way out. Now, can you imagine uh, maximizing the last week of lockdown, filling the missing gap? When they said, um, 
one more week was added, I wrote this. Now, someone like uh, Auntie Grace, now, Mommy Margaret, do you know that the two of you were supposed to write on what is trending now, the girl that was raped and murdered in Benin and the one in UI. If Auntie Grace is going to write on it, she will come from the educational angle. Then she will talk about the girl child. Um, grandma, when you are going, Professor Margaret, when you are going to write on it, you come from the legal aspect and you also come from the girl child. And by the time you are writing, you see, you will be, you, that is how it goes. Once they declared and everybody was shouting, I came to blog. What I blog, it's, it's there. You understand? I came to give them advice how you can do it what you can do to maximize your uh, your last week of lockdown. Financial increase one, changing from traditional mentality to digitalization reality. Can you see that now? You can also talk about the reality in education, the reality in acting, or in, in acting. By the time you are talking of, oh, get, get it to the peak of Nollywood, the reality you must face. And by, by the time you write that, people want to read you because you, you become the father. And you know, that's why when I was teaching you during the uh, digital footprint, I showed you my picture under uh, mentality and reality. Google rates me as one of the first five in the world. The reason is that I've written a lot about mentality and reality, and you will begin to see. These are the blogs I've written in the past. You understand? These are the write up. Mommy, uh, Mommy Margaret, I don't know. 10% of what you know, I don't. I'm still coming to you to learn from you. But the question is, does the world know 1% of what you know? That's the question. Now, has the world had about 1% of what you carry? And that's the question. And we want to know the only way is through this blogging. Now, you look at this, mentality versus sociality four. That means I've written one, two, three. You understand? If you go to Google now, you will see this picture. This, they pick this picture from this blog. That's why you see my picture is so much there. It's blog. That's the secret. Do you understand? They pick the picture from this blog. If I change this picture, they will have to change it there too. That's what we are talking about blogging. You understand? And I put it there. Oh, they looked at it. They loved it. A lot of people have read it. So they just gave me, uh, you understand? They just gave me that... Uh, that's tough. So that, that I broke it down. That's how you are. When we get to content management, I'll be telling you, can you see mentality versus sociality theory? Who am I? Auntie Grace, who am I now? And you remember what I taught on yesterday, discovery. Can you see an area? Now, if uh, Chief Kanayo is going to be writing about this, mentality, reality of the of Nollywood. You, you understand? Identifying your role, picking your role. Then you talk about different types of roles. You talk about how to pick a role. Are you going to be a comedian? Are you going to be, you know, the way you act, you are always acting as an authority. And they hardly put you, they have never used you as a gate man in most of your films. And even if you start as a poor person, before the uh, film ends, you, you will act the rich part, the rich man aspect. That how did you pick that role? Why is it that some people are always get men? In all fields, they appear. You can read what drives out all those basics. A lot of people want to know. You see what I'm saying? That is the idea of blogging. That's the importance of blogging. Your content, what you are carrying. You see what I've written? I've written this months, months, months back. And that was a reality too. Financial and business realities. And these are the things we are talking about. So let's go back to our class. So before we go, I want you to see that. I believe already uh, God will be uh, using this to minister to you. I believe you are now thinking of how you, you just have to write in your field. You just have to write in your field. You understand? I've not written, I, my PhD is in computer engineering, but I'm a coach. I'm a life coach. I'm a developer. And of course, I've done that. Because of some of the things I'm waiting for to be completed in law, I have not written anything about law. I will start writing where about law post-COVID-19 towards mental research. And that is reality one. You need to reach this aspect. You, you understand? So, by the time, can you see? When I wrote and I brought all this uh, out, people read it. Over 500 people read this thing in a day. I was commended. You, you get it now. And that's how it goes. That's how it goes. Maximizing the lockdown period two, repairing marriages. Now, Auntie Grace, I, could, I brought this out because of you. Repairing marriages. Can you imagine? Now, you have been doing a lot of marriages, much more than my uncle said. 
You are more experienced than me. But look at what I've written. You understand? Look at what I've written. Repairing marriages. And that is the, that's the issue. You see it? Repairing marriages. Can you imagine? Now, marriage healing. You, can you see what I, you see the picture? A lot of people have read this. Now, that's it. You also, it, 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 this, is, this is where to, 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 to move on. After talking about repairing marriages, and you see, oh, very insightful. Look at what people that I don't even know, some of them. Great insight for all couples. God bless you. Look at comments. These are the, these are the things that will be exciting you when you're having such comments. Now, can you see the way I can go back to it now? Everybody in the world can see this. There's some Gwande, uh, Fumi, you see, and you're like, hey, they have like this. Hey, oh, look at the different people that made comments. You can check it on your phone. Some of you are, uh, some of you are in the East. Some of you are in Lagos. I'm in Oshun State. Some of you are outside Nigeria. You are all seeing this now. And you can forward it to different people. You understand? So that is telling you about writing and uh, about blogging, about blogging. You see, you see the area and that is how it goes. That's how it goes. So you keep writing, you keep writing. You have to pick the field where you will write. Now let me continue with the class in terms of blood definition. So I told you in chronological order. So you saw it. And what do we mean by uh, reverse chronological? You see, repairing marriages, is one of the first work I did. But is that the first one that was placed on the blog? No. Reverse is the one you wrote last. That's the one that will come first. So it is uh, for last in, first out. LIFO, last in, first out. Let me communicate with you through chat. Last in. Oh, no, uh, yes. No, mommy, prof, ma. It's it, uh, last in. Last in, first uh, last in, first out, leave for. Last in, first out, leave for. Yes, last in, thank you so much, sir. Last in, first out, leave for. Prof, uh, the one you wrote there, uh, going by what uh, Chief Tanayo wrote, is you blog it, you block. It you blog it, you block it because that area becomes yours. That area becomes yours. So, last thing first out now, that is chronological order, reverse chronological order with the latest post appearing first. So, as you begin to write, the latest one will appear first. And some of us, of course, when things go wrong like this. You and uh, people are trending at yes, last in first out. God bless you, sir. Chief Tana, I'm very grateful. You, you understand? So it is a platform where a writer or even a group of writers share their views on an individual subject. You understand? You share your view, and that is something important. What's a blog? The term blog is short for we blog. We blog. We blog. Or web blog. We blog. We blog, we write, or web log. Web, that's the internet. You log things. You keep filing them. You keep filing them, which refers to an online journal. Blogs began as personal mini sites that uh, uh, people are now uh, fo or are following. This one was the mistakes that just happened now. So now we want to see the difference between blog and website. You can remember. Yes, thank you so much, Prof. Man. You can now remember that blog versus website. The first page where you saw my picture, uh, where you saw me with some seminar people, that is a website. That page, if you check it in another two, three days, two, three weeks, that's what will remain there. But for blog, it is what I did last that we showed first. What I did last. So that's why I say blogs are type of a website. Yes. The only difference is that blogs have frequently updated content and websites tend to be much more static and it's organized into pages. So website does not have the idea of last in, first out. Mm -mm. 
you understand? It, it is what you put there is first in, first out. That's website. But for blog, is the last thing you put there. Blog, we always do that. So a blog can be a website on its own or a part of a bigger site, like what I have done now. So early iteration of blogs were once used mostly for online personal journals. Blogs are flatter than most websites. So that's what we have about blog. So uh, in continuation, what are the importance of blogging? I've explained most of them, but let's go through it again. One of the most effective ways to build brand awareness. Uh, look at uh, Barry Star or Sahon Newton, who just joined us. When you talk about brand, his masters, his LLM, um, his LLM is on uh, power. So most of the time in his own area, when there are issues with PHCN, IBDC, most people rush to him because he has he has started building himself there. Uh, Prof, ma, your own area, environmental law, maybe I don't even know, but uh, I don't know if he's one of your sons as well, because I know he had this LLM in OAU, so he, he must know you very, very well. So, but ma, your own area is environmental. Now, what thing is the why provide relevant and useful content of your target? You build a brand, brand awareness in that area when you blog. Uh, if you, nobody needs to talk about uh, Chief Kanayo, his own area is active. But he's also a lawyer, so when he's active, he might even choose corporate law, you understand? Though myself and himself, we have been talking about uh, uh, acting or the, because there is nothing like law series in Nigeria. There is nothing like that. And he is a lawyer, and there is an area we can work together such that we can at least, if a child wants to be a lawyer, and a successful lawyer. And Prof, we definitely have you in. We have about four lawyers in the house. All your children know <laughs> at your doorstep, man. You see, but look at that. By the time we are launching the law series, Prof, you'll be there. You'll definitely be there. We now look at it. We talk about if a child wants to be a lawyer, you, you just tell him or how to go and watch the law series. In Nigeria, there's nothing like medical series. There's nothing like engineering series, accounting series, educational series. They are not there. They are not there. Um, Pastor, Mrs. Fanu, uh, Auntie Grace, the two of you, you are uh, almost eight mates, and uh, you, you are in the educational sector. Auntie Grace has been in the educational sector for over 30 years. Mrs. Fanu, you have one of the best schools in Oshu State here. If the two of you come to the educational series, Kana Yo is there, and then uh, we talk about acting something in that, in that regard. You say, you know, when we talk of educational series, what does it take to own a school? As you write it, you can act it. As you blog it, you write, you, you, you tube it. That's why we talk about bloggers and tubers. You understand? If you go to my name now, Dr. Dao Shobuale, if you go to video, you will see what I've said about digitalization. All my classes include, all my classes are there. You understand? You can listen. Now, when we talk about education, we have someone who can put it, you can write up a script. What does it take to be a successful educationist? There is no film in Nigeria that has it. The day I saw Kanayo in law school, I was so excited because I was like, my dream will be accomplished because I've been paying. Look at most of the things that comes up in our films. These are things that by the time you look at it, we want something that we can give to our children. Let the educational series. When you talk about educational series, someone will, will look at the life, look at in the law section now, look at uh, Ganifawa Imi, and look at his own uh, aspect of law. We can act his life and act the life of someone who was careless about his life and did not become a successful lawyer. We look at the two of them, we act them. Someone who maybe out of bribery or, or indiscipline, is instead of we have some signs that have been that have been brought back. So not being a that whose name has been struck out from the register of lawyers in the Supreme Court, you understand? We can act their life, show where they fell, so that our young lawyers will know how not to fall. These are things we can do. When we look at education, as you block it, you, you can do it, we can act it. That's what we are talking about. You understand? If if uh, we cannot expect those who are acting to also be the one to write. For us, if I want to, if I'm an actor, look at Kanayo now. Am I expecting Kanayo to now come into education so that he can act about it? 
it's easy for me to tell him that, okay, let's do the law series. The reason is because he's also a lawyer. Do you understand? So by the time we are looking at it, you education is, what are you bringing to the table? And that is what, what I'm even doing today is beyond your class. The president of the country should be listening to this because these are the things that can help us to move the country forward. Our children don't have things to watch. Engineering series, you understand? Accounting series. There should be things they, they will now look at the life of a successful accountant and the one that failed. We make comparison. They know who to follow. And we have everything through digitalization. All these things can be solved. It starts from blogging. It starts from writing. When you write about it, then from there you can now write the scripts for our actors. And Kamayo can tell us, by the time we, we, uh, you write a very good script on education and you give it to them, they will pay you. It's either you make money from it. He knows now. He knows. He's a big man and all. He, he made this money from acting. You understand? People will want to watch. They will want to subscribe. That's how to grow. And we have our people here. I mean, in this uh, 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 prof, man, with all you know, uh, we must start from you before you, you, you leave that system. We will not allow you to leave if you don't collect something from you. We have to collect. The knowledge is there. People want to learn. You have been outside the country. A lot of us want to rush out of the country. Is it worth it? If it's worth it, how do we how do we go? Where do we go? Now, if those of us who cannot travel and we are here, what do we do to maximize being here? These are things we can write about, man. And a lot of people want to listen. Blogging is an inexpensive way for small business to drive traffic to their side. That's the business aspect of it. You have a school, you have a law firm, you have a business, you have a, I mean, you have a fashion designing house, you have anything, you have a form of business, you can drive traffic through blog because people will read and they'll come. That's uh, one of the ways I use in starting this training. I use blog when I wrote and some people read and they are ready to, to they are ready to, to subscribe. And of course they did, you understand? And that is what uh, we, have been, we have been enjoying. So please, let's quickly, we have to work on that because it's something that is also germane. Now, blogging is one of the best way to develop thought leadership. Ah, uh, this one is important. One of the members of this class, I went taught leadership. Hey, uh, mommy, do you know you need mentees group? Be your mentees. Or you, mom, if I ask you now, I'm still going to ask you after the class. How many professors have you trained? I know they are not less than 20. The number of professors that have passed through you, your students that have become professors. Now, these people, do you have a, do you have that professors? Is there any professors link? Is there any way that leadership so that they will, the way you spoke the other day, just two minutes you spoke, you know, how many people coming back to say, no, we are not stopping. If that woman at that age, you said even till you are 100, you will keep learning. Oh, wow. And people were like, if a professor is still in class doing this training, so what is my own excuse? And that is how it is, man. So please, we, the, the, the thought leadership, blog is used for it. General, generate more leads and grow your own business. These are things that you use your blogs for. Apart from that, features of blogging, now you create posts. One of the greatest features of blogging is post creation. You must create posts. You cannot leave posts just like that. You create posts. You will be posting. You saw how I've been posting. You'll be posting maybe every week. Stop writing for fun. Write for funds. What you have been doing for fun, others are doing it for funds. Write for funds, please. Funds, funds, funds. Stop writing for fun. Let me, let me, let me, so you can get me. It seems, uh, 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 Chief Kanayo, you should be the one helping me this class. So don't write for fun. Write for funds. You see that? Don't. Right for fun, write for funds. Can you see that? Don't write for fun, write for funds. You see that? In fact, at times in terms of not only money, relevance, rating, anything you write on uh, WhatsApp or whatsoever, anything you say to people on phone is for fun. It's for fun. Nobody will rate you based on that. But when you document and you blog, stop writing for fun, write for fun. Thank you so much, Chief Kanayo. I'm grateful for that. So you see that that is what you have to create in your mind. 
you have to create in your mind. Once you start doing it, you will get to a level. When the demand gets to a level, you now tell them, okay, there's going to be a special training on this area, and people will pay, and they will pay. Then you give certificates, just as I'm doing, and they will pay. They will pay. Upload or embed pictures and multimedia. Okay, now you have been counseling me. You have been teaching. Is there anything that shows you have been teaching? It, nobody will know. Look, that's why don't write for fall. Huh? Thank you so much, Prof. Ma, with due respect. I appreciate you for that. You understand? People will not know that you are doing anything if you don't show us the pictures. You check my uh, blog site. I show the picture of the people I'm teaching. Now, if I did not announce myself, look at those of us in this class. How would you have known me? I was talking to someone, one of those that attended the, the class, you understand? Uh, and I was telling, I said, please, how do you? And she said, no, that we, how do you be seated in that kind of a village? I said, that's the village we are in, but the transition has brought us to me. I was surprised when I discovered that Auntie Grace is even in Lagos. Do you understand? But she's in class. She's in class. By God's grace, I've been able to train about three, two or three professors from UI, the librarian of about two or three schools. You understand? Four years, different schools like that. Some magistrates, chief magistrates, have been trained. Some people have been trained from France and all through. So you, your pictures should show what you are doing, your pictures and multimedia. You, you get it. So configure the appearance and layout. You'll be, laying, you'll be learning that. Daily display posts and comments to visitors. Yeah, you have to be moderate. Uh, you publish your RSS feeds, find support, then you host your blog. These are features of blogging. Oh, I'll be leaving now for a meeting. I would like that you send me a recording. My network is bad. It keeps, oh, okay, okay, man. okay. Man. So you understand? So that is where we have. So now features of blogging too. Niche, you need to have a niche. You niche blog. You need to have a niche. Niche blog, niche blog, niche blog, niche blog. You just need, you cannot but have a niche. You cannot but have a niche. A lot of people don't understand this idea of having a niche. And that is why they have been having issues. You understand? So when you have a niche, you niche blog will help you. It will really, really help you. You have to think of the area that people will know you. Education, that's my area. Uh, this one, that's my area. Human capacity development. Corporate world development. That's my area. You see, different areas. You know that the, <laughs> if you go online, you find it difficult to see anybody writing about principles of comedy. Everybody here knows Ali Baba, but who is writing about principles of comedy? Who is writing about creating comedy? How to generate comedy from everyday life? Do you understand? Some people will just come up, they will pick up their phone, then some of, when some of their friends say they are funny, those things that they told them they are funny about, they will just start acting. There is no template. So after five, 10 years, such people will now go out. That's why people will now start praying. They will start praying, God, open the door. You don't know the principle. Nobody closes any door against you. You don't know the principle. And how will you know the principle? Those who have succeeded have refused to write. That's the fact. Now, there, there, there are some films. If I want to challenge my dear brother here now, can I help? The films you acted 20 years ago, nobody made you a grandpa. Can anybody make, body, anybody make you a son now in any of the roles? Now, where are you acting? Will there not be sons? There will be sons in the house now. There will be those who will be children in the house. That's the truth. Now, those children also want to learn. They want to grow. That's how life is. The principles of comedy, nobody is ready to write on it. What's it? Those of you who have had schools, you have started schools, what are the principles? Entrepreneurship. You understand? Non-lipreneurship. That's it. Entrepreneurship. Everything is entrepreneurship. Entrepreneurship is to make business. Entrepreneurship, making business from uh, education. Entrepreneurship or uh, nollipreneurship, making business from Nollywood. Do you understand? Legalpreneurship, making business from law. That's what we are talking of. That we are, that's, that's the challenge. So now you need to understand features of blogging. You must have a niche, an area. You can't be in every area. You just have to have a niche. If I start writing on acting now, I, I want to fail. I just want to fail. That's the meaning. You understand? You must have a niche. I don't expect Kala to start writing on digitalization. I don't expect uh, Mommy Grace to write on uh, digitalization. I don't expect Kala to write on education. 
That's how it goes. And you understand? That's how it goes. So you have your area and you must have your need. Choosing a blood name or sign, that one you are going to do the practical today. You need to choose a blood name. What's your blood name? And you are going to learn how to do that one. Because some of you might be designing it for someone. You need to learn how to choose a blood name. There is your blogging types. I will show you the blogging type. Then you have blogging design. That's that will be done next weekend. Blogging content. So you understand. Okay, thank you so much. Now you, you look at that. Then blogging content. Oh, that's <laughs> that's even though it's part of this class. This class is loaded, but not. I mean, the course is loaded and you will get it. Content development. Blogging design will lead to the next class. So let's move on. Uh, importance of blogging. Express yourself and share your passion. That's it. That's it. So now you express yourself and you share your visions. You share your passions, what you are passionate about. Please don't go into what you are not passionate about. You won't last. You will not last. Oh, my dear sister, sister Kike, you are in the house. God bless you. Yes, you won't last. If you go into the area, okay, uh, while you are there, you are the one that I've been using. Uh, why? Ah, but you know the principle now, change. So you will not last if you go into an area which is not your passion. Make a difference. Are we getting it? Uh, Chief Kanayo, if you go into this area, do you know that you are going to beat every other actor in Nigeria? Make a difference. Make a difference. Please make a difference. That is key. Make a difference. By the time you are doing this, Prof. Ma, at, uh, with all respect, Ma, at your own uh, level now, you discover that most professors in Nigeria are not even, they don't, they don't even care about blogging. That you are even in this class. <laughs> I was, uh, it's something great. Ma, that is exactly what we are saying. Make a difference. Share your knowledge. Importance of blogging. Share your knowledge. Then your writing skills, because they normally rate, your writing skills will also be, uh, will be improved on. Your writing skills. Your writing skills. So that's why you refine your writing skills. Then you learn how to make money online. The truth is, when you blog well, you will make money. That's the truth. There is no, there you, there is no way you are going to do it that you don't make money. You may, the, even from this class now, we need to have explained in this class, with our connection in this class. And that's what blogging does. Now, look at wh where we are now. I, uh, when I saw uh, some people registering, and they, they, they are into different aspects, different people, in this class alone, the connections we can make, the kind of things we can write, what we can become, and that is what we are saying. You make a difference. Learn how to make money, then you build your professional network. What else am I going to talk about? I just saw someone's face now that I said, so you are the one. That person has been in the, uh, well, he's not really into acting, video and the rest. You understand? He's, he's um, uh, I don't know, we call it a name in Yoruba. The people that, uh, how, how do we call it? I don't know the English version now. I don't know what, to, what they call. Uh, <laughs> those people that speak, they read uh, Akewi. What's Akewi in English? I mean, Supia, who can help me? Eh? Who knows it? Okay, Wallogy. Yes, Wallogy. Wallogist. Yes, we have someone in the house who is an Wallogist. That's true. Yes, I think that's, uh, that's right. That's right. You understand? And uh, so for someone like that, I've been. When, when you talk about uh, people like that, they just need someone to promote them. Just like these things, they come together and things add up. And you build your professional network. You build your, well, thank you so much, man. You understand, whoology. So we have someone who has that, yeah, you build your professional network. Look at someone who is like, uh, like Auntie Kike now. She is someone that is into, uh, she travels to different aspects in the, in, of the country, but she has not been writing in that regard. investment. Different investment. A lot of people have money stored somewhere. They are afraid. They don't want to be duped. We have people that are genuine investors. They will guide you. They have track record, but they've not been writing about investment. You don't know them. One of them is in the house today. You see how things go. That's what you do to build your professional network. Then you have more exposure. 
Look at what I just said now. If Auntie Grace is going to write some things about education, uh, imagine if we are now, if she writes something on education, and uh, someone like uh, what my brother here, uh, uh, Wale, he apologizes what uh, Auntie Grace has written, and someone like Kanayo, you act it out. You, you are not the one who will write it, she is not the one who will act it. That's how you earn more exposure. By the time you are bringing educational series, all the things I've mentioned, though they are my ideas of copyright. <laughs> You understand? So then you bring it up and you are saying, look, I'm going to build this. I'm going to build this. You understand? That is how, that is what happens in blogging. Some people will read your work. They will definitely tell you that, wow, this is what we have been looking for. And of course, you'll be surprised at what, we, at what will happen. And that is what we are learning. Professional network, even the caliber of people here, and I did arrange it. You understand? The caliber of people in this class, their level, their understanding shows the kind of network we have already formed. If we go by this class alone, a lot of, all of us here by class can become great known millionaires, even from our network, if we can maximize it. You understand? Yes, thank you so much. Ulogy, Ulogy, yes. Ulogy, that's EU. So we have some uh, things like that that can bring up, become an authority in your industry. Please, I want everybody to type it. Just say, I am going to become an authority in my industry. Type it and let me see. I will become an authority in my industry. I want everybody to type that. I will become an authority in my industry. Type it and let me see. Thank you so much. I'm waiting. Okay, good. Who is the first to type? Thank you so much. I will become an authority in my industry. Yes, I am an authority. <laughs> Chief Kanayo. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> I'll become an authority in my industry. I'll be an authority in my industry. I am determined to be an authority in law and farming. Ah, this is serious. So, uh, uh, Prof. Ma. Look at one of your sons who is saying he wants to be an authority in law and family. I don't know the meeting point, too. but Prof, this is one someone you should now pick up because uh, someone who wants to do farming has to deal with the environment. So I don't know how he's going to combine it. Maybe after the class, you will, <laughs> I will ask you to speak more so that we know where we are going. It's even good I gave this assignment. Still waiting to read from the rest. Still waiting to read from the rest. So now that we have that, that you will become an authority. And that is what happens. That's what happens. You understand? That is what happens for you to just be an authority in that industry. Let's move on because of our time. Now, types of blogs. What types of blogs do we have? We have two types, personal blogs and business blogs. Personal blogs, they are incredibly dynamic. They can serve as resumes, your CV, a place to compile your ideas or a training ground to develop your communication skills. You understand? With a personal blog, you create a workspace with complete control over what people see and what you share. And that is something very important. Personal blogs, you need it. Usually, personal blogs goes by your name, www.wadeadegute.com. Www your name. You understand? Newtonosound.com www.dayashobaye.com. So that's what you have personal blogs doing. With the personal blog, you create a workspace. You understand? Then you have business blog for small businesses. Having a blog, since I have a message, yes, I am determined to be an authority in my industry, having various experiences and start blogging. Thank you so much, man. Thank you so much, Auntie Grace. So you now see that for small businesses, you have a school, you have a farm, you have um, an industry, you have Having a blog is nearly is compulsory. You just you just have to have it. If a company wants to grow, running a blog helps develop name recognition and can drastically boost visibility of your customers. A blog can help drive sales, improve customer retention, and it's an inexpensive way for a company to establish their image. But for this to happen, people like uh, the younger ones, Valerie, uh, Clinton, and what have you, for this to happen, one of the things 
you need to understand is these companies need you. They can't do it alone. They need you to be able to get deep into uh, their business blocks. They need someone to run it for them. You'll be the one to drive the, drive the traffic and the company will pay you very well because today we have content managers just as we have hotel managers. Is it possible for Nibia to have the two types of blocks? Yes, it is very possible. It is very, very possible. It's very possible for, the, for a person to have the two types of blocks. You see, the, you, everybody here must have a business block. But uh, for, I mean, a personal block. But if you have a business, then you will have a business block. Like my own Dio Shobo Ale now, it is a personal block. But my business block is on um, Davos College. And the function of that one is to drive my training courses. Do you understand? But Dio Shobo Ale is to drive my, the real purpose of my, of my living, which is towards humanity. I always tell people that your potential is your God-given gift to bless humanity. And that is what I face with that Shobali. So now you see that the, your personal blocks, you share. Then if you have issues with your image, someone is trying to tarnish your image, with personal blocks, you can always cleanse your image. And that's something very germane as well. Let's move on. Types of blog. Oh, fashion blocks. Now you see it. One of the most popular types of blogs. That's we have fashion blogs. You have uh, what type of blogs again? Food blogs. Are you reading? Yes. Is it possible for any? Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. Now you see that academic or educational blogs, lawyering blogs, motivational blogs. That's it. Religious blogs, health blogs, topical blogs. Yeah. You want to pick on marriage. You want to pick on uh, personal development, counseling, etc. Travel blogs. <laughs> Some people make money about the two travel blogs. When someone is traveling, they want to, you are the one who update. Don't go to this hotel. Go to this hotel. You know, you understand? Travel blogs, music blogs, lifestyle blogs, fitness blogs, DIY blogs, sports blogs, different types of blogs that you can have. There are different types of blogs you can have. But you see that it depends. If you, are, you can be doing this as a person or you do it as a company. If you do it as a person, it's a personal blog. If you do it as a company, it's a business blog. So now we are getting to some very seven steps to starting a blog. Please, everybody, uh, everybody, with all respect, I plead with you, pick up your pen and write this. Is very important. In this class, pick up your pen and write this. I have my reasons. Uh, you know, I've trained the a set I had. You are the second set. So the, from my experience, that's in fact, I want I to almost told the other set that I'm going to ensure that they must show me their faces before so that I can be sure they are doing what I ask them to do because they are in class. But of course, we I must uh, I must believe that you are doing it. Oh yeah, let's write two minutes because you are going to dictate it to me ahead. Thank you, Chief Kanayo. I can see you are writing now. You know, I can't see most people. Wale, you have carried your uh, video away, Abi. You went to look for book. Let me believe so. Who is Joseph or Jenny Yi? Do I know that? Who is Funke? I've not. So select the perfect niche for your blog. Choose the blogging platform. Get a web hosting account, starting a blog on WordPress. Select a WordPress team to design your blog, write content, and promote your blog. Those are the seven steps to starting a blog. Those are the seven steps to starting a blog. Select a WordPress team. Pick a domain name. Very key. That's what we're doing today. 
choose a blogging platform that's your host get a web hosting account now this must have been done those are the two things we are doing today if you are if you are true just write okay if you are done just write okay thank you Okay, thank you so much. If you are if you are writing, if you are not done, you'll be close to getting done. So for me to have those two. Now, these two that I painted in red, we must do the two today. We must do the two. So now pick a domain name. These are things that you have to just get done. There are things you have to get done. Those are the steps to starting a blog. Those are the steps. I have written that. Thank you, Wally. You know, those are the steps to Okay, okay, do I miss some topics? The laptop went off and we have to quickly get it. Oh, sorry, man, I get what you are saying, no problem. And uh, so now for everybody in this class, there is an assignment. I don't know, I'm teaching the senior class again by 8 p.m. There's an assignment, oh, thank you so much, Barista. There's an assignment that I'm going to give you. The assignment is what is your niche? You have to get it, write about it and send it to me. And that niche, you are going to pick it from my own blog. You have seen the way I, ca I couched mine out because everybody, the way I'm going to prepare you in this class is such that by the time I will be telling you you are, you are free to graduate, you must have, even if you have not gotten money to host your blog, you must have all the materials ready. Those of you can raise the money, we will use your blog as examples in the class. Those of you, the, the other set now, about four or five of them that have paid, we are using their blog as example in the class. And I'm going to do the same. So the first step now is a niche for your blog. You will write about yourself and your strength. Your strength is your niche. And you remember my words, make your niche rich so that it can reach the world. The, uh, make your niche rich so that it can reach the world. I wish I could give that to you your niche must be rich to reach the world. Your niche, I'm typing already. <laughs> your, sorry, just a minute. Your niche, so that your niche must be rich in order to reach the world. Now, read that. Your niche must be rich in order to reach the world. You want to reach the world, then your niche must be rich. What's your niche? So how rich your niche is will determine how, how much your niche reaches. How long, how much you cover, it depends. So it all depends on you. So the first thing is your niche. Barista or Sarah Newton, you have said law and farming. That's your niche. Law, you will, that's not what you will write, oh. You will now write around it. Let me quickly show you uh, my own niche from what we have. Now, if you come here, can you all see my site? Home. Can you all see my site? Okay. Home. Please, uh -huh. Now, you look at this. Now you see that the main purpose of this site is to discuss the realities of various topics. 
premise on the requirement statement about these topics include personal and career development. This is the niche, the categories I'm going to be talking about. These topics have been discussed each day of the week, Monday to Friday, especially, why the weekends have been voted uh, consult to consultancy question and answers. You understand? Now that's now you look at this. I sold myself here. This is what I want you to sell. The, the, I want a write-up about you there. Can you imagine? I've written about myself there. So the same way, I want you to write about yourself. You understand? Then you now tell me about your niche, what's your purpose, what you want to be blogging about, what you want to type about. That's the way to start. There is no. This is unlike the other class. So <laughs> this class is more uh, technical. So I'm going to uh, the other share. You see the way we are switching. It's unlike the other class. So we are back here. Pick a domain name. Now let's move on so that you can, uh, because we are going to do that today. How to uh, start a blog, uh, pick a, a blog name, choose something descriptive. And that is what I want to talk about. When you are talking of choosing a domain name, it depends on your type of blog. My blog is www.showbali.com. If you want to be talking about acting, you understand if I, I can if you are into kitchen uh, kitchen works maybe sales of food you like you want to talk about food you understand you can say www.walekitchen.com do you understand like www.goodhealth.com you once people see it, it it has to be descriptive if you are the one and you are going to be talking about a lot of things if you look at my blog what I showed you just now, you see that I want to talk about a lot of things. Look at it here. Yeah. Personal and career development, law and education, marriage and family life, health and entrepreneur ideas, then politics and religion. These are the areas I want to talk on. Do you understand? Now, I've even decided to, I'm going to update this. This is the problem with a website. You see, it has been there since I put it there. I'm, I'm changing for politics and religion. I'm not talking about that again. But you see, because of all this I want to say, and it's coming from a single person, so it is better at www.shobali.com. If I am a tourist, and everything I want to be doing has to do with tourism, then the best bet might be www.touristissues.com. Are you getting it now? touristmatters.com. You see, it depends. Like mommy now, if, uh, Professor Margaret, we can say www.margaretokorodudubabuna.com. Uh, or you bring, if you are, that's your name. If I, for you, my, that's to be your name. Because we want to learn from you all aspects. You understand? But if you have an aspect that is fixed, that you are not going diving into other areas, you don't need to use your name. You use the name of that area. If you look at uh, someone who is talking about, look at Madam Kike Johansson now. If uh, Sister Kike, if all you want to talk about is investment, you don't need to use Kike Johansson, but you are a public speaker. If you are going to be talking about public speaking, the girl child uh, investment, then you cannot use, if you, you can't use a single thing, then you have to go for kikejohansson.com. So it talks about your entirety. So when we are talking about choosing a name, you need to understand the process of choosing the name. It must be descriptive. Someone is in the house. It must be descriptive, brethren. Uh, Auntie Grace, by the time you are choosing your name, it has to be descriptive. If you are talking, from what I've seen about you, you talk about marriage, you want to talk about education, you cannot say marriageeducation.com. It has to be your name. You understand? Because that's what you want to give. And I usually prefer name because that will even help you. After we have gone, one will be able to do what? One will be able to leave the name behind. And that's one thing that is important. Get your blog online. Register your blog and get hosted. That's going to be the next class. Customize your blog. Choose a free template and tweak it. Um, write and publish your first host. You see, they make money blogging. Don't worry. The most important thing now is the name. And that's what we are doing. Pick a name. What is your blog going to be about? I've explained that. That's how you pick a name. Who is your target audience? That's how you pick a name. Do you understand? You want to talk about youth alone. www.youth. Uh, youthmedia.com if you want to talk about uh, states you know some people some bloggers like entertainers uh, my my younger ones and uh, in the house uh, valerie and clinton then for example if you want to talk about the entertainment industry in fact clinton i'm having a leading i'm not talking like a, as a pastor but i am talking as a prophet that 
through your daddy's connection, you can get information about most of these actors and the rest. You can have a blog. You will not bring your name. You understand? And if you are going to bring your name, you know people don't know your surname. Your daddy's popularity is Kanayo, Kanayo. So if you are going to use it, you are better use clicks in Kanayo. You have to forget that surname because your daddy didn't promote his surname. This is the name everybody knows. You understand? If you mention the surname, people will not know. So and that's something else you are going to promote in terms of uh, blogging. So by that, but you can pick something. Entertainmentindustry.com. www.entertainmentindustry. Then you begin to post stories. They don't. They won't know your. They, uh, they won't know who is posting it. But with time, it will become popular because you have information. Yes, God bless you, Valerie, for that uh, response, you understand? But you'll be getting information. Initially, you start getting from your dad. Later, you will start getting from other people. Once you tell them, I'm the son of uh, Kanayo, I'm the daughter of Kanayo, this, they will want to, they will give you, they, they will grant you interview. Yes, it's a strong leading, I'm happy now, and you have to uh, you have to work on it. You will interview the actors, the actresses. They want, nobody has been interviewing them. How many interviews have you read about the life of your father from, from his childhood, what brought him into acting? If you interview your dad, you interview RMD, you interview about five other actors, you now you, from there you will bring a principle, and that is how to, to start a blog that will make money. You bring a principle from your dad's life, RMD's life, um, what name of all these other people? I, mean, I grew up in the religious house. I don't know the names of most of them. It's the popular ones that I, that I know. You know, some of these people like that, you just uh, you interview them, you check their lives, you make comparison, one thing or the other, led them into acting. How many of them came to that? They said, how many of them studied acting? How many of them read uh, drama art in school? You, you understand? Then how many came into acting because there is no money? How many came into acting because of popularity? How many came into acting because of their skills? You understand? You will analyze it and you see how far they have gone. Anybody who came to acting because of making money, he cannot make money there. You will go and ask them. The people that came into acting because of their skills, they are the ones that end up making names. We have actors and we have actors. That's why some people are limited to get men in things. That's why some people beg to for acting. You understand? That's what we are talking about. Then you see that your dad is a lawyer now. Others also have gone to read law. I mean, before him. You see, why did they go back to study law? You, law and acting. You write about it. That's how to make money. People want to read from you. People want to understand what you have to say. That's what we are talking about. So you target your audience. So www.entertainmentindustries.com. You don't need to put like in Canada.com. And if you want to promote your name, you pull you 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 put it there. But if you you are targeting the youth, you put it there. And You understand? So those are the things you are going to look at in choosing how to do what you want to do. So you look at it. What's the tone, voice of your blog going to be like? What is it going to be like? Is it going to be fun? Is it going to be very serious one? You can't, is it going to be comedy? You understand? You have to look at the tone. Wale, you need a blog. Wale, I did with a but I don't think you need to promote your name. You are an actor. I mean, you are, you are, you are an eulogist from what I've learned now, because you have the gift of eulogizing, then you can coordinate uh, themes. You understand? It is what you want to do. You don't need to use your name. You don't need to write anything about eulogy. You understand? You do it. So since you do it, you'll be doing it. Then you look at other actors. Now, Kanayo is in the house. You are here. You, are, you can always, you are now in the, it's an opportunity. You can chat him up. It can help you through. Some of these things because he's into acting, you have been trying to, but you have been here in this local area. Then you go up and then uh, you are internationally connected. That is how it happens. It doesn't happen, someone has to pull someone up, and that's what happened in digitalization. I can't pull you up in acting, all I know is I know you, and that's all. You understand? So, but those who can pull you up, but they have to see your work. Once it is good, they will take it up. If it is not good, they will drop it. That's it. Will you be building your brand around your blog name? That is what you are going to look at. Look at someone like a barista Newton. I definitely know that barista Newton will know Professor Margaret Okorojuju. And if uh, barista Newton is thinking of farming, and Professor Margaret is the first female to have PhD from Harvard University in environmental law, the first in Nigerian female, then what else is Newton looking for? More than to hold her mother and uh, his mother and say, mommy, will show me the way. Environmental law, farming, put these things together. 
That is how it goes. You have to pick. So if Newton knows that it's law and farming, he wants to do, and he's not going to write anything again, you understand? Then it may not put a sound newton.com. He might look for a name in that area. Do you understand? Legal farming. You don't come to legalfarming.com. He maybe will be, will be, you understand? He will be writing towards that area. These are the things you have to look at. And the social media's name, that they are available. These are the things you have to look at. So know what you want to promote. And use your name, you can use the name of what you are doing. Now pick a name, get the Tazaros for a catchy name. Your name must be catchy. Don't use a name that is too long. Don't use a name that is too long. Don't use a name that is too long. Uh, don't use a name that is too long. Look at competitors' blog name. Now, if you say if you think you don't have competitors, you are lying. In the digital world, there are competitors. These competitors, you have to look at their blog names. The inspir inspir take inspiration from books. Look at the way I've been talking now. When it came to name, the spirit came on me, and I started that inspiration. Take inspiration from books. Consider a different language for the best blog name. Play with words to come up with a perfect blog name. Use humor. Try alliteration. You can do some things. I don't know where can I came up with KOK, Professor John Boo. These are names that they are, you, you see, catchy names, catchy names, catchy names. Very good. You understand? Catchy names. That's why you see you, can I all, can I all, you look at it and it's, it's a name. Do you understand? I, I don't think, I've been thinking of how do I call that name in, uh, in blogging. You understand? But you see, it's a name. Something led to something. That's how you, you have to, name is important to, in naming your blog. So that you don't make any any mistake in that. So choose a blogging platform. There are three options. Blogging platform. Either it is free or freemium or self-hosted. When it is free, it is free. That is when uh, you are not paying anything. That nobody takes you serious. It's like uh, when you say it is free, it is free. So if a site gives you their blog, uh, if they give you a blog site for free their name will be there, added. It's not going to be your name, as it were. It will be dot, uh, like for example, wordpress.com, but there is a plugin platform that is free. You must know that. Then freemium. Freemium means you are ready to pay, but for the first two months, you are not paying. Okay, yes. Uh, well, we'll be done in less than 15 minutes. I wish you can uh, finish with us. Please, uh, Funke. Uh, please, can you go we help you? If you can finish with us, I would have appreciated it because we'll be done in less than 15 minutes. You understand? So you have that, uh, then premium and self-hosted. The one I'm going to be teaching you and the best one for you is self-hosted. That is what is recommended for everybody here. Okay, do you understand? Uh, now, uh, thank you so much. So we now have the second one, which is um, by the time you have the self-hosted, self-hosted platform. That is where you pay. That's the self-hosted platform. Uh, that's where you pay a particular amount. So that ends it. Now, that ends our theory session. The next thing is the practical session. We have just five minutes for practical session. Do you have, uh, do you have your phone with you? Now, type, go to www.bloghost.com blogost.com, I'm uh, sorry, bluehost, www.bluehost.com, type it, type it, www.bluehost.com, let's go fast, www.bluehost.com, are you there, bluehost.com, that's uh, the practical section for today, www.bluehost.com, let me help you by showing you how that is done from here, you go to your URL. This is your URL, this place. Just type www.bluehosts.com. Enter. You should find something like this. Are you seeing my screen? Do you have something like this? Do you have something like this? Please answer. Let's be fast. Do you have something like this? Is that what it's showing there? So have you seen this? 
do we have this? I want to be sure I'm, everybody's with me. Prof, Ma, I want to be sure everybody's with me. Auntie Kike, Sister Auntie Grace, do, do I have this? Madam Funke, do I have this? Nobody's responding. I just need a yes. Uh -huh. I just need a yes. Okay, thank you so much. Now, the moment you have that, uh -huh, that's it, uh -huh, that's it. Just give me that answer. Then you go to domains. Have you seen domains? So click on domains. Click on domains. Ah, Prof, ma, which one is no? Prof, uh, uh, kindly go to www.bluehost. Ah, Chief, can I? Okay, I have to take it one step after the other. You start by www.bluehosts.com. Enter. www.bluehost.com. Enter. Prof, is this done? Chief Kanayo? Chief Kanayo and Prof, do we have this sorted? Do we have this sorted? Chief Kanayo and Prof. And if you have not said yes, Reply. If you have not said yes, reply, please. Infinite Note 5, stylus. I'm not. Uh, okay, you have said yes. Okay, Mr. Wale, yes, you are there. Blue host. Host, ma. Blue host. Okay, let me type it here. Blue host. Dot com. Blue host. Dot com. Mommy, have you seen it, ma? Chief Kanayo, www.bluehost.com, sir. Are we all there? Bluehost.com. Yes, Mr. Wale, thank you. Prof, Chief Kanayo. Okay, who else? Oh, thank you, Prof. Chief Karayo, I'm waiting for you. Who else, who else? So, Clinton, you have not replied me. Dr. Kolawole Taiwo, you have not replied me. Dr. Kolawole, or Jenny Yi has not replied me. Okay, thank you so much, Chief Karayo. Oh, thank you so much, uh, Madam Funke. Thank you so much. So we have gotten there. So now, can we now click on domains? Have you seen domains? Click on domains. Click on domains. That's the practical for today. Okay, thank you so much, uh, Barrister Sound. Click on domains. Have you clicked on domains? It should bring you here. It should bring you here. It should bring you there. Are you here now? Are you there? Are you there now? Doc, I'm not enjoying this class at all. Network Palaba. Yeah. Sorry, my dear brother. Okay, sir. Uh, don't worry. It's being recorded. It's being recorded. But that you even mentioned, that you even mentioned uh, that you are not enjoying it at all. Network Palaba. It shows that you are uh, you are following, but uh, it's not uh, it's not smooth. But don't worry, don't worry. Uh, but just follow this part. This is the practical aspect. So are you here now, Doctor uh, Kolawole Taiwo? Are you here now? It will be logging you and logging you out. So now, if you are there, test this name. Everybody, test this name. Uh, Dayo Showbowale dot com test that name test alira ba ba lola dot com test 
Sophia Adeyeye dot com test Kola Wale Kola Wale Taiwo dot com test Margaret Okorodutu dot com. Oh yeah, I want your reply now. Then Funke show me uh, Funke what? Okay, don't worry. Now you know how you are going to test the names. You will come here, search for domain name, and you type. You test the names there. Oh yeah, work has started. Tell me what your experiences are. I'm waiting. Everybody, do that your Shobo Ali first, and tell me your reply with that Shobo Ali. Thank you. Auntie Grace, I've not heard from you, ma. The Shobo Ali is unavailable. I'm clapping for you. I'm clapping for you. Now, everybody, do it and get the answer. That is Shobo Ali dot com. Do it and get the answer. Yeah. Yeah, keep on yeah. Okay, this is what you want us to check. Okay, ma. Okorodudufubara.com. Prof, ma, before then, let, me, let everybody check that your showbowale.com. Which one is on me? Which boss is that? Okay, okay, okay. Prof, man, kindly check the that your showbowale.com. Prof, please. I want to. Okay, Kika Johansson is unavailable. Everybody, please check that showbowale.com. I want your reply. Once you check, Type your reply, then go to the next name. But I want everybody to check. Okay. Yes, Prof, when you type that on showbody.com, Prof, you are going to type it here. This is where to type it. Uh oh. You type it here. Search for your domain name. Okay, just come here. Type that your. Just get that. Once you get that, you don't have the problem again. That your showboard wale. Just type that your showboard wale here. They are very lady added.com for you. Just type that your show wale, then you click search. That's the way to go about it. Prof, this one is your existing name. I know. I visited this site. Area Babala is unavailable. Thank you so much, Madam Kike. Yes. I want you to come here and type. Dioshobowale.com. Just type it there. Then when you click on search, it will give you a reply. I also saw blue host above. Mm -mm. Uh, Funke Olanirego. Madam Funke Olanirego. Just what I've done. Just what I've done is what I expect you to do. Just follow what I'm doing. 
go to that place and type as I've instructed. Yeah, this is what it should show you. It should show you this. Sorry, that your shopale.com is unavailable. This should be your answer. If you, uh, Madam Funke, uh, this should be your answer. Prof, this should be your answer. Chief Kanayo, did you get this? These are the things I want to see. Okay. Prof is on now. This should be your answer. If you you come from here, you start from Bluehost. I'm going through it again. Bluehost.com. When you press enter, Bluehost.com will bring you here. From this place, click on domains. When you click on domains, it will bring you here. Then you come here to type your name, to type the name you want to check. To type the name you want to check. Are we there? So now, let me, let me see. Let me see responses. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. There are Shobale is unavailable. Uh, Madam Tika, hold on, oh, hold on. I also saw uh, Madam Olani Regun Olufunkema. Have you been able to get what I wanted to get? You come here, you type. Those of you that are getting available, congrats, available. Yeah, okay, for those of you who have gotten it, go now and type your name, the name you want to use on your blog. Go and type it. I see if it is available. Then I will speak about it. Then we call it a class. <laughs> now we 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 all can try empty okoro dudu fubara. Empty. Let me try that. You'll be doing your own. I'm doing my own. It's me and Prof. Empty okoro dudu fubara. Dot com. I want to show Prof something here. Prof, let me just know where you are. Prof, you are seeing this. MTOCODUDUFUBARA.com is available. Sorry, that I heard a bystander. That's okay. That's okay. Yes. Antikika, you have gotten it. Let's wait for others before we call it a class. Antikika, you can keep checking those ones I gave as assignments. Osaho, new team. Now, you see, you're, you have three, you wrote three ends here. Is that what you wrote? Osaho, new team. Three ends. It should be two ends, isn't it? Who is uh, Joseph or Jenny is raising hand? Please, what do you want? Say, type it, type it. Type it. Okay, thank you so much. Congrats, congrats. Chief Kanayo, in that place, just type Dayo Shobo Ale. It should give you not available. Okay, Joseph or Jenny, my domain name is available. That's good. That's good. That's the purpose of this class. You must learn how to decide the domain name. That's the purpose of this class. You must learn how to decide the domain name. We are still going to meet uh, during the week on Wednesday.
Okay. All I see first is Congress. Your domain is up. And that is it. That's it. Madam uh, Funke, congrats, your domain is available. This is what you should be seeing, ma. Am I right? Madam Funke, is this what you are seeing? Infinite notes, five stylus, I've not heard from you. Uh -huh, that's it. Madam Funke, that's good. So that's good. Prof, ma. Uh, I've checked my domain. Okay, good. That's nice. Uh, Mr. Adegbite. Okay, flourishing law office.com is available. And you see, flourishing law office is too long. That's another issue. It is too long. It's too long. Walearaka.com is available. Very good. WileyAraka.com is available. Very good. Very good. Very good. Kike Johansi. Kike Johansi. I bought it already some time ago. Oh, good. So which one is... Now, please. Now, let's stop there and let me explain. I'm going to explain with this last expression. You see, you know why I gave you that assignment? I want you to see my face because this one now, you need to see my face. Now, you see, you know why I gave you that uh, assignment? When you go to domain name, when you, go, when you chose domain name, you want to know those people who have bought their names. They have blocked it. The first one I gave you is dioshobawale.com. Dioshobawale.com is my own name. I have bought it, so it will be unavailable. Look at what uh, Madam Kike said there. Madam Kike Johansson, he, he says kikejohansson.com is not available. You know the reason. She has bought it. You get it? She has bought it. So the reason why the name you are trying is available is because it has not been bought. So if you take a contract and you want to, the first thing is you must be sure if you come to me now and you told me, uh, I want to design a blog for you, and I will use your name to design it. And you told me that I already have bought my name, and you promised me heaven and earth. You are coming back to tell me it's not possible. Because two people cannot buy the same name. That's what I want you to understand. ClintonCanaya.com is available. That's good. Because nobody has bought the name. Can you recollect what happened to the federal government on the issue of Nigeria Airways when they wanted to launch Nigeria Airways? They could not launch the Nigeria Airways because the moment they tried to launch it, before, I'm sorry, they couldn't buy a website for Nigeria Airways. Once the, uh, uh, someone got the information that they registered it, that person went to buy all the available options. And he now told Nigeria to come and pay him so that it will release one to them. Do you understand? Now, if uh, Kanayo and I, if we go by the same name, that is Shobo Wale, he is more popular than me. I have bought the name. And he wants to use that same name. It's going to be difficult for, in fact, it's going to be practically impossible for him to use that name. That is why when he says something is available, that means you can use it. So now look at Prof. In Prof's case, Prof, mtokorodudufubara.com is available. The people that designed uh, that website for you, Ma, they did not use .com. They used .i.ng. I will show it to you now, Ma. So if you go and you type www.mtokorodudu. Empty Okoro Dudu dot I dot NG. Enter. Empty Okoro Dudu dot I dot NG. Let me search. Sorry, just a minute. I want you to see how I'm going to. Okay, that's good. I want you to see how I'm going to get. 
uh, prof stuff out. Okay, that's what we are. Are you seeing it? Are you seeing what I'm doing, everybody? I believe you are seeing what I'm doing. So now I want to get Prof's details now. Professor Margaret Okoro Dudu Fubara. So getting online now, okay? This is this is the I think this is yeah, this is the page. Prof, this is your page. Now, if you look at the website, ma, prof ma. So now this is your website. They gave you mt okoro dudu fubara dot i dot ng. They didn't give you dot com. In our next class, I'm going to be explaining the meaning of dot com and all this to everyone in our next class. Now, if you look at this, this is what they gave prof. That is why when I went to type and I went to search, now this is what they gave prof. You can see that. Prof, that's your face, man. <laughs> so this is what they gave. Now, this is what the assignment I'm asking you is this. You see, Margaret Odudua Fubara, Professor Margaret, are you all seeing this? Please, I want an answer. Are you all seeing this, please? I just need a yes so that I can be sure before I start explaining the assignment you have to do. Yeah, let me see. I have some replies. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Now, this is saying, Professor Michael Kodu, a former dean of Faculty of Law, Bank University, 95 to 2008, widely published in reputable national international journals. You see, this is selling her. You understand? International journals is the author of the first Nigerian textbook on environmental law. You, you see that? Widely circulated nationally and abroad. Professor Okoro Dudu Fubara was granted the Senior Fulbright Scholar Award. Wow. 1990-91, and the Robert S. M. C. Namara World Bank Fellow. 1990-91, to undertake overseas sabbatical as visiting scholar at the St. Mary's University School of Law, San Antonio, Texas, USA. So she was appointed visiting professor at the United Nations of our Sorry, at the School of Law, University of Oregon, Eugene, Oregon, USA, where she taught comparative environmental law. She was appointed consultant for the United Nations Environment Program, Nairobi, Kenya, 2002-2003. And okay, now engage as part of the team to prepare a draft manual on the UNEP guidelines on the compliance with an ah, prof. If I, I'm coming to see you, Professor Okoro is a member of the. IUCN and as a member of the IUCN Academy of Environmental Law. She was appointed by the president, commander in chief of the Office of Federal Republic of Nigeria, member of the Niger National Investors Commission in 2009. In 2012, she was appointed Federal Inland Revenue Service Professor of Taxation, Professor Ria Chia. Hmm. Professor Kodu Fubara is the lead consultant and chief executive officer of MT Law Juris Consult, a consulting firm that offers. Now, you see, what I've written now, Prof, you see, I'm sweating already because this thing I'm reading now, I'm sweating already. <laughs> so, but what I've written now, what I've read now is what I want you to now write about yourself. This is blogging. Do you understand? The only thing is that by the time we will be learning in our next class about extension, you, <laughs> Prof, you are laughing. I'm sweating, oh. With this thing that I read, I'm sweating. Oh, good, you bore me. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going to start from with this one now. So now this is how to sell yourself. And by the time you read this, you know who you are dealing with. That is what we mean by, uh, this is a personal blog, but the naming they used is not the naming that uh, I, they, they, they should have used another naming, actually. Then this is a website. This is not a blog. Because this thing has remained there. You understand? It's a website. It's not a blog. And I have looked at all these plates. There is no room for blog. Prof, you see, they said you have 79 publications. I know you have more. The 47 years of experience, 12 awards once, and four projects. You know, I've shown you this before. Now. This was my services. Can you see? Is this it? Prof, 
You said keynote speeches. I heard these are other issues. My portfolio. Wow, wow. I've gone through this before severally. So now I want you to see uh, a lot of things that come to the issue of uh, they've brought everything up on a line. No, it doesn't go this way. This is not the way it should be. So it's two packaged together on the line. So, but when we talk about your blog, ma, your blog will now be a, you can still retain your empty Okoro Dudu, uh, empty Okoro Dudu Fubara. It will now be dot com. I'll be explaining that to you in our next class. But for the class, your assignment, the, you see what Proverbs written. You saw the one I wrote. You know, that one I wrote, don't compare it. You know, that one is just 1% uh, compared to this one. Uh -huh. But repackage your own as well. You see, everything should be listed. Repackage your own, and you now submit it to my mail. I have this, WW, okay, I, I will not. You see, .blogspot.com, it shows that you are the one. It's not, you didn't pay for it. That is the free platform. I was talking about it shows you didn't pay for it in the free platform so you are going to send your answer your reply to shoba wale a day that you uh, sorry a jimmy abi yeah the the uh this thing of prof has confused my image shoba wale i did that at gmail.com so please you send your answer to this stuff you can check the way Proverbs written uh, as, then the way I've written mine, then write yours. Do you understand? Write yours. So that is it. You must write it. No matter how it is, you have to write it. So thank you so much, and God bless you. The two things, you have confirmed your mail, and that it will work, and that is it. So before we go, I will... One, two, three people. Yes, I have to. Number one, the other class starts at 6.15. Okay? Thank you so much.